All right, welcome back to here in our W2K18 universe. When I am, of course, Tom McKenna, the Batterson channel, making his way to the ring. It is Vincent Kennedy McMahon, the recent new general manager of Friday Night SmackDown. Okay, we're still trying to find a replacement. So what does Vince McMahon have to say? Welcome, everybody, back to SmackDown. I came out here to announce that my status as your general manager has been revoked and replaced with a man that I'm very excited and happy to announce as SmackDown's new general manager for the foreseeable future. He is a man that I know all of you love and has had experience in this type of role. He is a dear friend of mine and my family. Please welcome back, Shawn Michaels. Well, whoa, <laughs> okay then. Vince McMahon, I guess, being replaced as this man. They finally found a new general manager for SmackDown after Bobby Roode. It's... It's... Sh 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 Shawn Michaels! I mean, we're almost to the end of the series, but until then, Shawn Michaels, ladies and gentlemen. Well, hello there, everybody. I am happy to be replacing that despicable Bobby Roode in this role as general manager. But now on to a few announcements. In a few weeks, the wrestling world will be taken by storm as WrestleMania will be taking place. Now, as Mr. WrestleMania, I already have a few matches to make SmackDown's part of the show truly amazing. First off, Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa have already come to me and Mr. McMahon and have requested to use their rematch clause for the tag team titles against the bar. I have agreed, but I want to make it something a bit more special. See, the bar and DIY have clashed numerous times throughout the year, so I think the only way we can truly know who's the better team is by having a two out of three falls match between the bar and DIY. Okay, now on my final announcement. A few weeks ago, Aleister Black took it upon himself to deliver a black mass to The Undertaker. I, for one, feel like The Undertaker deserves a little bit more respect and a bit more payback. So, at WrestleMania, we will also see Aleister Black take on The Undertaker. Well, okay, okay. already an, an, an amazing start to our SmackDown episode. And we're just getting started. Shawn Michaels is our new general manager for Friday Night SmackDown till I don't know for the foreseeable future. I guess I don't know if he's gonna cut that. He's gonna stop at the end of the series. I'm not too sure. However, Shawn Michaels, the new general manager, and already a pretty damn good one, as we're gonna be seeing a two out of three falls matchup for the tag team championships, championship titles at WrestleMania between DIY and the bar after DIY's weird, honestly a bit weird loss last night, um, at, or not last night, but at the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view, and we will be seeing uh, The Undertaker take on Aleister Black in what I can sure to be a very smoky, a very dark, a very brooding matchup. However, tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we move on to the first matchup of our card as Jeff Hardy is going to be taking on Brian Kendrick. Now, I know what you're thinking. That's a little bit of, a, of an odd matchup. Why Brian Kendrick? Well, to be honest, I'm not I'm not quite sure. But Brian Kendrick, okay, he's done a lot in our, in our series. Okay, sure, he's not, he's not won any titles, but he has defeated many competitors. He has been definitely prominently featured on our show. So I think Brian Kendrick versus Jeff Hardy just sort of makes sense. So let's see Brian Kendrick take on Jeff Hardy in this one-on-one -on -one matchup between the two is what the hell okay that was a bit odd the little dark out the little spook dark out thing is Jeff Hardy in the ring and um okay Bray Wyatt making his way to the ring Bray Wyatt not typically a man to come out here and just watch What's happening? And there's the Spanish announce table. It looks like he's about to sit next to the Spanish announce table. As Bray Wyatt, the Intercontinental Champion, watching Jeff and Brian Kendrick. I'm not too sure why. 
Okay, a little odd, but sure, we can have that. Why not? As Brian Kendrick taking on Jeff Hardy here tonight. Brian Kendrick, oh, an immediate kick to the face of Jeff Hardy. I don't know why the Intercontinental Champion is really out here. However, Brian Kendrick going after Jeff Hardy. Now it's Kendrick, oh, with a big knee to the face there of Jeff Hardy and Kendrick. There you see him taunting the crowd, taunting Jeff Hardy. And Kendrick now looks at this. Oh, just throws him down. And, well, just like Randy Orton on Raw. And, oh, what the hell? Okay. I didn't even know Brian Kendrick could do that. But, okay. But, anyways, just like, just like Brian, just like Randy Orton on Raw, Bray Wyatt using his mystical powers to sit down on no chair. And now Brian Kendrick and Jeff Hardy fighting behind him. <laughs> <laughs> just like going through Bray Wyatt. <laughs> okay, well anyways, Kendrick now. Oh, the big kick to the face there on Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy, ladies and gentlemen, down the outside is an elbow connecting there. And the count is seven. And Kendrick, look at this. Running back into the ring. We might see a count out victory, ladies and gentlemen. Jeff Hardy needs to get up. But the referee, look at this. Stopping Brian Kendrick from going out there and doing any more harm. As Jeff now... Runs back into the ring as a kick to the face once again by Brian Kendrick. And Kendrick, I think shocking everybody, absolutely defeating, absolutely taking out Jeff Hardy in this matchup. Ladies and gentlemen, as Brian Kendrick might have his eyes set on Neville's light heavyweight title. Yeah, that's right, you heard me. Neville's light heavyweight title for WrestleMania potentially as Kendrick with the slice bread number two or slice bread, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know what to call it, whatever. And Kendrick now, look at this. Throwing Jeff Hardy to the outside. Bray Wyatt watching on next to the Spanish announce table. I'm sorry, guys. You guys must be feeling very uncomfortable. I'm happy I'm out here watching this fantastic matchup. It's Jeff Hardy, look at this. Oh, the big suicide dive by Kendrick onto Jeff Hardy. And Jeff Hardy has barely gotten any offense in this entire matchup. I'm not too, I'm not too sure why, to be honest. But Jeff Hardy, look at this. Why did I say that? Oh, my God. Throwing Kendrick right into the steel steps. Okay, finally getting some offense here tonight. Now Kendrick, oh, once again, getting thrown into the steel steps. Jeff Hardy, ladies and gentlemen, a bit ruthless here tonight against his opponent. Here tonight, finally getting some offense in, and then as soon as he does, absolutely hitting him hard. As now Kendrick, look at this, reversing him, takes him down. Ladies and gentlemen, in this match of the count of five. Here is now Jeff, oh my god, once again, throwing him to the steel steps. Back first is now the count of six. And Kendrick, and ladies and gentlemen, I think Jeff Hardy following him into the crowd. And the count of seven by the referee, and these two brawling in the crowd. And now the count of, the count of seven, ladies and gentlemen, the referee, count of eight. And Kendrick runs back into the ring. Jeff Hardy taunting him there, and then a kick to the face there by Kendrick. And Kendrick, now look at this, just stomping away on the back of the head of Jeff Hardy. is another kick right there. An insiguri by Brian Kendrick and Kendrick now look at this no respect to Jeff Hardy or anybody in the crowd Or anybody here on Smackdown as Kendrick now look at this going for a maneuver Jeff Hardy reverses it and Hardy look at this just taunting ca Taunting Brian Kendrick there and Kendrick look at this. Oh with a big clothesline off the middle rope Jeff Hardy lands it Hardy picking up Brian Kendrick and now throwing Kendrick into the into the into the turnbuckle there and there you see Bray Wyatt finally doing something here. Bray Wyatt seemingly looks like to be distracting Jeff Hardy. I'm not too sure why. However, Brian Kendrick, there you see him punch to the face there of Jeff Hardy and Kendrick now. There you see Bray Wyatt. Very happy seeing that, ladies and gentlemen. As Kendrick now look at this. Picking him up. Reversing it there, ladies and gentlemen, and Kendrick, oh, gets taken down there by Jeff Hardy on Brian Kendrick there with a big backwards DDT. Kendrick has done so much in this matchup. Bray Wyatt distracting Jeff Hardy as you just saw, and Kendrick, now look at this. Oh, the frog splash off the top. Kendrick, ladies and gentlemen, look at this. Now look at this. Oh, my God, just crushing Jeff Hardy, and Kendrick, look at this. Seems to be a lot more aggressive here tonight, a lot more focused. Like I said, could be looking for that light heavyweight title. It's Jeff Hardy, look at this. Oh, look at this. Let's go throw him into the barricade. Oh, my God. Almost throwing him into the crowd there. Ladies and gentlemen, Kendrick 
Look at this with the Hunakan Rana by Jeff Hardy face first almost into the concrete floor. And Hardy now. Look at this throwing him back into the ring. No, he doesn't throw him into the steel steps. And Kendrick now look at this. He's up. Jeff Hardy now in the ring. Look at this taunting. Brian Kendrick the count of eight. And Kendrick, look at this. Oh, right to the face there. Of Jeff Hardy now. And Kendrick, look at this. And oh, whoa, 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 whoa. He wants to go for, I think, a Hunakan Rana or something. But then, like, he was behind him. And then in front of him, Jeff Hardy. I don't know what the hell's going on. But Kendrick, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this, Jeff. Oh, right to the right to the chest. Good lord, Jeff Hardy. Going right after Brian Kendrick here tonight. And Kendrick now, look at this. Jeff kicking, almost kicking the leg out of his leg. Again, to, to paraphrase. There's now cover, and only a one count there on Brian Kendrick by Jeff Hardy. And Hardy now, ladies and gentlemen, getting up. Look at this, taunting everybody, ladies and gentlemen, getting the crowd behind him. Jeff could be going for the finishing maneuver, and Kendrick, look at this, turning himself on his stomach. Okay, making sure he can't hit the swanton as Jeff, look at this. Getting back up now, ladies and gentlemen, and Kendrick knows it. And then Kendrick, oh, kicks him in the back there. Ladies and gentlemen, and Kendrick, look at this. Punch to the head, no, Jeff Hardy, ladies and gentlemen, reversing that. And now, dropkick misses by Jeff Hardy on Brian Kendrick. And Kendrick, look at this now. What does he have in mind? Going for a huge maneuver. Connects there. Goes for the cover. One, two, trying to roll him up. No, only a two and a half there by Jeff Hardy. Bray Wyatt, I'm, I'm happy to say, is not here to distract Jeff Hardy anymore. As now throws him into the corner. And Kendrick, oh, went to go for a maneuver. Jeff Hardy reversed it. And Hardy, look at this, going for a maneuver once again. And Kendrick reversing it there. And Kendrick now... Throws him into the into the corner now, and Brian Kendrick picking up Jeff, ladies and gentlemen, putting him on the top turnbuckle. And Kendrick looking up at Jeff Hardy now. What does he have in mind, Kendrick? And oh my God, oh my God, oh my God! Face first off the top turnbuckle, ladies and gentlemen. Connecting there, going for the cover off of it. One, two, three, defeating Jeff Hardy, Brian Kendrick. After defeating a legend like Jeff Hardy, sure, it might have been a little bit of help with Bray Wyatt. However, Jeff Hardy lost to Brian Kendrick. I think Jeff Hardy might be looking at, or Jeff Hardy might have lost to a man who is definitely rising the rankings here in SmackDown in the Cruiserweight Division, the Lightweight, the Light Heavyweight Division, as we move on to the main event of the evening. Well, uh... Jeff Hardy losing to Brian Kendrick because of Br because of Bray Wyatt. Shawn Michaels making his return as general manager. An amazing two out of three falls matchup for the tag team champions announced. Uh, Alistair Black versus The Undertaker announced. So much has happened already. But ladies and gentlemen, this man Kurt Angle, he is looking for a fight here tonight. Kurt Angle, he is angry. He lost his world heavyweight title last night. Or not last night. The last pay-per-view. Elimination Chamber. He lost it at Elimination Chamber. And he's angry. He's mad. He wants a fight. He wants a matchup here tonight. To show everybody on SmackDown. That just because he lost an Elimination Chamber. Which, mind you, he was completely beaten up. He was definitely the most beaten up in that entire matchup. Okay, he left bruised, beaten, battered, bloodied open. In my opinion, I don't even, know, I don't even think Kurt Angle should be here right now. However, he wants a matchup. And who is going to answer that challenge? Okay, he has an open challenge to anybody in the back. Ladies and gentlemen, Kurt Angle, he wants a fight. And what well, it looks like, ladies and gentlemen, a man who had the chance to join that Elimination Chamber to become World Heavyweight Champion. Batista making his way to the ring. Okay, this is a little bit of a 2006, 2007, 2008 kind of matchup. As Batista... To be taking on Kurt Angle in this one-on-one -on -one encounter. Ladies and gentlemen, Kurt Angle, he is mad that he lost his World Heavyweight title to AJ Styles. And sure, Kurt Angle, he definitely tried his best. I can give you that. Okay, he was one of the last two. However, the man who won was AJ Styles. And Angle, ladies and gentlemen, he wants a shot at anybody in this match. And look at this, just throws down Batista like it was nothing. And Angle, look at this, just pounding away on the face of Batista. But ladies and gentlemen, 
SmackDown's main event for WrestleMania, because of Kurt Angle's loss, is going to be AJ Styles, Kurt Angle, and, or not AJ Styles and Kurt Angle, sorry, AJ Styles and Rusev. Ladies and gentlemen, Kurt Angle, of course, was supposed to be in AJ Styles' role. However, he lost his world title at the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view. And Angle now, ladies and gentlemen, look at this. Batista going after Kurt Angle. And now punch to the back of the head. And Batista going for a suplex. It looks like an Angle reversing it. Punches him in the, in the stomach. And Angle, look at this with the strikes. Okay, he's definitely not pulling out any huge wrestling maneuvers. He just keeps striking. Oh, God, right to the leg. Of Batista now an angel and not angel angle <laughs> going right after Batista. However, Batista just bouncing him off, ladies and gentlemen, off the off the mat. Batista's power and strength advantage is definitely being shown here tonight. Going for a suplex, connecting there by the animal. Batista, I bet he's angry because it was him and but in Triple H versus AJ Styles and Roman Reigns for a shot. Or for the last qualifying matchup into the Elimination Chamber uh, matchup, of course, for that World Heavyweight title. He lost to AJ Styles and Roman Reigns, and now he sees that AJ Styles is w is our World Heavyweight Champion. So clearly, he, mu he must think that if he had won the matchup, he could have taken AJ Styles' place. So he could not be very happy as he answers this challenge to Kurt Angle. Okay, both of these men... Pounding away at the at each other. Kurt Angle, look at this. Oh my god, huge clothesline. Right to the face and Angle. Look at this, going for a big maneuver there. Reversing, Batista throws him into the corner. And now Batista, look at this, picking up. Could be going for a superplex here tonight. It looks like he is. He has his legs on the outside. Batista going for a superplex, potentially. And now, look at this. Connects there with a huge superplex on the Olympic gold medalist Kurt Angle, the American hero, whatever you want to call him. Batista, though, however, the animal going after Kurt Angle here tonight. Is now right to the arm there. Batista, he has definitely made his presence known on SmackDown throughout this entire series. However, Kurt Angle, ladies and gentlemen, has done the same. Kurt Angle, of course, was money in the bank. Hold he was the money in the bank holder until um, brought Bobby Roode screwed him out of that, and then he got a shot at the World Heavyweight title, he won that, and then lost it a month later at the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view, of course, as Angle throws him into the corner now. What does he have in mind? I'm not too sure. Turning his back, turning him away from him, however, Batista, look at this, Spinebuster connecting by the animal. Goes for the cover on Kurt Angle, one. No, only a one count there. By Batista on Kurt Angle. As now Batista could be setting up for the ending. The Batista bomb. As he has made so famous. No, Kurt Angle. Look at this. Right to the leg there. And then right to the face of Batista. And Kurt Angle, look at this. Just stomping away. On the animal now. And Angle. Look at this. Could be going for the Germans. Once again, oh my god. Just throwing him almost into the... Into the corner there is now a second German connecting him. Kurt Angle using his wrestling prowess to bring major damage to Kurt, to Batista's Kurt Angle. There you see, ladies and gentlemen, taking the straps down, waiting for Batista here tonight to get up. He wants him up. And Angle, look at this going for it here tonight. No, he does not. As Batista hits him in the back of the head and then it hits to the back of the spine there. Ladies and gentlemen, the animal throws him into the corner once again. Kurt Angle stopping him. Takes him down, though. And Angle, look at this, pulling him towards the middle of the ring. What does he have in mind? Not too sure. Turns his, turns his opponent over. And now, Batista, look at this. About to get a huge angle lock here, ladies and gentlemen, on Batista here tonight. Kurt Angle hitting the angle lock on the animal. Will he tap out? The monster, the animal, known as Batista. I'm not too sure. Batista, ladies and gentlemen, not one to usually tap out in these sort of positions. However, Kurt Angle, ladies and gentlemen, showing everybody on SmackDown that even though he lost his world title, he still is one of the top guys on SmackDown by defeating Batista here tonight. Not only that, but tapping him out, which is no easy feat. 
ladies and gentlemen. An angle here tonight. There you see the Germans. And then finally, ladies and gentlemen, Kurt Angle defeating the animal here tonight. Kurt Angle defeating him here. And there you see Kurt Angle. Ladies and gentlemen, I can guarantee you this. He is on the hunt once again for his World Heavyweight title. As is everybody on SmackDown. So AJ Styles be on notice for this man. Kurt Angle. As that's going to be the end of this video here tonight on our WWE 2K18 Universe Mode. If you guys like it, please let me know by the like button down below. Comment anything you want to comment. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you have, why not hit the bell to be notified of everything we do here on the Bad Wrestling Channel. I am, of course, Dominic. And have a good day from Bad Wrestling. Bye-bye.